Hi, in this video, we are asked to solve for the value of A and the value of B. Okay, let's call the first equation, equation 1, and this one, equation 2, okay? So, from equation 1, from 1, we can see that B is equal to 100 minus A, okay? Yes, B is equal to 100 minus A. Now, let's call this equation 3. Then, if we substitute B equals 100 minus A into equation 2, so let's substitute substitute 3 into equation 2, okay? Now, what does equation 2 say? Equation 2 says that AB is equal to 100. So that means A bracket, now our B is 100 minus A, right? 100 minus A is equal to 100. All right. Now, let us open this. Let's open the brackets. A times 100 will give us 100A. So we have 100A and A times minus A will give us minus A squared. Minus A squared is equal to 100. Now, let us bring this to this side because when you look, this, look at this, you notice that we just formed quadratic equation. So we are going to bring this to this side. And if we do that, we have 100A minus a squared now plus 100 we cross to become minus 100 is equal to zero now let's arrange this well okay our square will come first followed by this and then our constant so we have minus a squared plus 100 a minus 100 is equal to zero so to remove this negative sign let's multiply through by minus one okay let's multiply through by minus one so we multiply through, multiply by minus one, okay? So we are going to have a squared minus 100a plus 100 is equal to zero. So looking at this, we just formed the quadratic equation. Now we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula. The one that states that since we are looking for A, unfortunately, A, right? We, we are not going to get confused. Remember that A will give us minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC, everything divided by 2A, okay? Now, in this case, our A, the first value, our A is going to be coefficient of A squared, which is 1, right? So our A will be 1. Our B is coefficient of A, which is minus 100, minus 100. And our C is our constant, which is 100. So we are going to substitute these values into this to get the value of our A. If this is the first time you are seeing us, please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos daily, so tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And please give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. So I wanted to erase this, but I think it's very important to us, yes, because B is equal to 100 minus A, right? Okay, so let's write it somewhere. B is equal to 100 minus A. We will come back to that. Then let me now clean everything. All right, now let's substitute. So that means that the value of A is equal to minus B, that is minus times minus 100 okay plus or minus square root of now b squared that is minus 100 squared minus 100 squared okay then um minus 4 ac minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 and c is 100 okay all right now everything divided by 2a 2 multiplied by 1. All right, now let's continue. So we can say that A is equal to minus times minus will give us plus. So we have 100 plus or minus the square root of, now minus 100 squared minus minus will give us plus. So this is more or less like 100 squared. They are the same thing. So because we have 100 here and 100 here, let's factorize 100 out. So we bring out 1, 100 okay now when you remove 100 from here 100 will still remain minus when you divide this this divided by this 100 will remain okay and this divided by this then 4 will remain 
this is what we have now everything divided by two okay so a is equal to 100 plus or minus the square root of 100 brackets now 100 minus 4 we give us 96 okay now everything divided by 2 have you given us a thumbs up yet <laughs> if not please do that thank you very much all right now let us continue from what we have here we have that a is equal to 100 plus or minus now this can be written as square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 96 right yeah because square root of a b okay is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b so we can now write this as square root of 100 so square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 96 everything divided by 2. now a is equal to 100 plus or minus now square root of 100 is 10 now let us simplify square root of 96 this is how i do it now this is 96 okay so we divide with the smallest number possible which is 2 so 2 we divide 96 to give us 48 2 we divide 48 to give us 24 2 we divide 24 to give us 12 divided by 2 we give us 6 divided by 2 we give us 3 divided by 3 we give us 1 now this is square root we are going to group in twos okay so 2 times 2 we give us 4 2 times 2 we give us 4 and we have 2 times 3 is 6 okay now we need a perfect square so we are going to multiply this and this to get another perfect square okay so 4 times 4 will give us 16 so it means that 96 is same thing as 16 times 6 okay yeah so that is how i simplify my sorts no matter how big they are so this is going to be square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 6 okay so we have sorry everything divided by 2 so we have a is equal to 100 plus or minus 10 multiplied by square root of 16 is 4, okay? Then multiplied by square root of 6. Now we have A, okay, divided by 2. So now we have A is equal to 100 plus or minus 10 times 4 is 40. Then square root of 6 divided by 2, all right? Now, that means that we have two values for our A, okay? A is equal to... 100 divided by 2 plus or minus 40 root 6 divided by 2. Okay, we are almost there. Almost, almost there. So that means that A can be written as when 2 divides 100, we have 50 plus or minus, plus or minus 40 divided by 2. We give us 20. So we have 20 root 6. 20 root 6 okay so this is the value of our a that means our a a1 is equal to 50 plus 20 root 6 and our a2 is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6. recall that b is equal to 100 minus a from here from equation one all right now we have two values for our a that means we are going to have two values of b and we are going to prove that the answer we got are correct okay now look at it we have that b is equal to 100 minus a so when a when a is equal to 50 plus 20 root 6 okay then b let's call this a1 b1 will be equal to 100 minus a1 so b1 will be equal to 100 minus 50 plus 20 root 6 okay so it means that b1 will be equal to 100 minus times 50 is minus 50 minus times plus is minus and we have 20 root 6 right so it means that b1 is equal to 100 minus 50 which is 50 minus 20 root 6 so it means that when a is equal to 50 a1 comma b1 will give us 50 plus 20 root 6 
comma 50 minus 20 with 6 okay so we have gotten the first value of a and the second value and the first value of b now when a when a is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6 we have that b will be equal to 100 minus what 50 minus 20 root 6 so let's solve for them if we solve for them we will see that b which will be our b2 this is a2 okay will be equal to 100 minus Minus times 50 is minus 50. Minus times minus is plus. So we have plus 20 root 6. So B2 will be 100 minus 50 is 50 plus 20 root 6. So it means that when our A is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6, our B is 50 plus 20 root 6. Now let's prove that the answer we got is correct. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to use just one of them to prove okay now let's use this a1 and b1 the first uh, equation says that a plus b is equal to 100 now our a is this 50 plus 20 root 6 okay plus our b is this 50 minus 20 root 6 let's see if this is equal to 100 okay now 50 plus 50 will give us 100 plus 20 root 6 minus 20 root 6 is 0. So you can see that 100 is equal to 100. Now, that is the answer. Okay? If you want to use this to prove the second one, the second one says A multiplied by B is equal to 100. All right. Now, our A is 50 plus 20, 50 plus 20 root 6. All right, multiplied by 50 minus 20 root 6. Let's see if this will give us 100. Let's see if this is equal to 100. Now we have 50. Look at this. You see that we have 50 times 50, okay? To open the bracket, 50 times 50 is 2,500. 50 times minus 20 root 6 will give us minus 1,000 root 6, right? Now, 20 root 6 times 50 will give us 1,000 root 6. That is plus 1,000 root 6. And 20 root 6 times minus 20 root 6 will give us minus 400 multiplied by 6, okay? All right. Now, I hope I've not made mistakes somewhere. So we have 100 root 6, uh, 1000 root 6 plus this side is supposed to be 1000 as well. Sorry. Okay. Minus this plus this is zero. So we have 2500 minus 400 times 600. We give us 2400. Is this equal to? Hundred, okay. Now two thousand five hundred minus two thousand four hundred, we give us hundred. So you can see that hundred is equal to hundred, and that proves that the answer we got is correct. You can actually use the the other values of a and b to also check, but I'm sure it's going to give you the same thing. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.